Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use Doodly to illustrate a big idea. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Big ideas strike at the oddest times, which is why they're often illustrated on cocktail napkins or post-it notes. Today, we'll use Doodly to share a big idea. Let's take a quick look at my script and you'll see that we have the problem, the solution, benefits, and then a call to action. So I went ahead and created just four slides here. Illustrate the problem, present the solution, highlight the benefits, and then a call to action. That's basically all we're going to do with this video today. Now I do already have the voiceover recorded. I used Talkia, which is Woomly's text-to-speech program and I'm going to bring it in. So I'm going to go to sounds, hit the plus sign, and I have it right here on my desktop. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag it in. And here it is. So first thing I want is somebody driving a car. I'm going to go to scenes right here, and I'm going to type in driving because I know there is a scene. Yes. And this is fine for it to overwrite that. And make it a little smaller. So what I did was I hit control plus A to select all of them at the same time. I'm also going to pick the gear icon and I'm going to change the duration. So each of these items is drying on for three seconds. So that's like an 18 second scene and I don't want that. So I'm just going to say zero. Next I'm going to go to props and I'm going to look up like bottle, the plastic water bottle and then air conditioning. I don't know if I'm going to have a graphic for that or not. Let's find out. Air conditioner. Yeah, okay. And then let's add some text here. And then maybe one more line. I'm going to click the gear icon here and I'm going to change the color on this one. Let's go for a green. And I'm going to bring in my logo, plus sign, it's right here. This is actually an animated GIF file that I made in Canva. The reason you can't actually see it is because it has a little animated introduction. So you won't see it on the first frame. Here, let's see how it pops in. Okay, that'll be fine. I'm going to give it some time at the end so it doesn't just swipe away as soon as it comes on. And I'm going to make the duration of this much shorter. But what if you could do something about it? Introducing Eco Planner, the app that helps you track your activities. Suggest. Okay, timing wise, that's fine, but I want this to come on and be much bigger. So I have to select it over here because I can't see it. And I'm just going to make it bigger. So just this so we can see. Something about it. Introducing Eco Planner, the app that helps you track your activities. So it's a little too high. Introducing Eco Planner, the app that helps you track your activities. Okay, so I like that. Now we're going to go to our next scene. I don't want this one to swipe away this time though. So I'm going to go to scene settings and turn the exit animation off. And hit apply. And let's go to our new scene. Yeah. I'm going to once again upload an image. This time it's my logo that is not animated. So it's just static. I'm going to place it in here and I'm going to make it really large and it's just going to fill the scene. I'm going to present the solution on this scene. Go ahead and delete that. What I want to show you is we had this this one growing here and then we're going to cut to this and it's going to be full size we don't want it swiping or doing anything crazy so let's go back over here and just have it at zero seconds so it just pops on okay, so it's going from this to that so now we want some text we'll use a different font I think I just want some arrows in here pointing to the app. So each of these arrows are just arrows that I drew and imported. So they're not anything fancy. I just drew them on a piece of paper and imported them. 
out. I think something like that will be good. Let's see how that's looking now. Introducing Eco Planner, the app that helps you track your activities, suggests eco-friendly alternatives, and provides tips for reducing your carbon footprint. With Eco Planner, you'll see how small changes can make a big difference. Okay, so it's close. I think I would like it to come on just a touch earlier. So I need to go back to the scene before it, go to scene settings, and just adjust that. Let's make it two seconds. About it. Introducing Eco Planner, the app that helps you track your activities, suggests eco friendly alternatives, and provides tips for reducing your carbon footprint. Then I need these to come on much faster. Half a second each. Let's see how that looks. To track your activities, suggests eco friendly alternatives, and provides tips for reducing your carbon footprint. So now we're onto this one. Small changes can make a big difference. And again, I think let's go for the green color. I'm going to Marketplace. I do have Doodly Marketplace, so I have access to all of these extra graphics. And I thought maybe we'd find a nice picture of Earth. I think the tree holding it would be good. And this time, we'll have it fade on. Hit the pencil icon, reveal mode, fade. Save a turn. I have some blank white squares and rectangles. That's white box right here. That'll be fine. You can make your own white, perfectly white box in any of your um, image creation tools and use that to cover up things on your whiteboard. I do this all the time. So I'm going to bring this in like so on top of these words. I'm going to click the pencil icon. And I'm going to choose Fade and save and return. Probably like a one second fade will be fine. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Contribute to a healthier planet. Eco Planner is currently in development. See how that just faded out my graphics there? And now I have some white space for some more text. Add some time at the end of the scene. Let's just say 10 seconds. Hey, timing-wise, all of that is fine. The last thing we need to do is just add some music. So let's go to Sounds, Categories, Music. These are all of your royalty-free tracks that come pre-installed with Doodly. I'm going to use this one, Lean In, and I'm going to put it down here. It doesn't really matter that I have the narration in the music track and the music track in the narration track. It doesn't matter. You'll notice this is way too long. So you just go over here, hover till you get the double-sided arrow, and then just shrink it down. And then right click, choose fade out. And then if you want to stretch this little arrow, you go and hover and then just extend it so it's a slower fade. And this music is gonna drown out my voiceover. So hit the speaker icon and turn it way down. I'm gonna do 8% today. And that is that. Let's take one quick look and then we'll be done. We all know that everyday activities like commuting, using plastic products, and running the air conditioner all day long contribute to carbon emissions. But what if you could do something about it? Introducing Eco Planner, the app that helps you track your activities, suggests eco-friendly alternatives, and provides tips for reducing your carbon footprint. With Eco Planner, you'll see how small changes can make a big difference, helping you save money and contribute to a healthier planet. Eco Planner is currently in development, and we're seeking investors to help us bring this innovative solution to market. Join us in making a positive impact on the environment and a profitable venture. And there you have it. That's how you can use Doodly to create your own big idea whiteboard video. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.